So we're back inside here now, ready to paint the black on our 70 ton model, or 70 ton GE model. Um, I've got the uh, Poly S engine black in the siphon cup here. We've got Windex for cleanup and distilled water for cleanup, a uh, towel, and I used to mix the paint uh, a little battery powered uh, paint mixer that I've got. Uh, we're painting again with the uh, VL Pache VL uh, two stage airbrush. Again, we're starting the stream of paint before we get the model. And covering slowly and evenly. This is going on pretty quickly here. And again, um, holding the uh, airbrush far enough off the model so that the paint is just about dry when it hits the model, avoiding any run-unders and other incidents like that. And it appears we're out of paint, so I'll fill the uh, siphon cup again, adjusting slightly, moving that needle forward so we don't put quite so much paint on. Uh, we're not getting runs or anything like that, but we want to avoid that if possible. This stuff's usually pretty reliable to be, and now you see I'm getting a little less paint when I spray here, since I move that needle forward in the orifice a little bit. Again, I'm trying to get all the nooks and crannies because I don't want to have to go back and touch this up with a brush. And uh, again, spraying from different angles. Those step wells are always tricky. Getting the top of the hood, the footboards there, the inside is the step wells. And then painting underneath, of course. Make sure we get all those surfaces there. We're going to set that aside and move on to the cab. Uh, we've masked, again we've uh, used our blue painter tape and uh, then burnished the tape down with a uh, toothpick nice and tight around the uh, surfaces that are uh, not supposed to be black. And again, you can see red there on various surfaces after I've gone past, and I'm trying to get different angles, slightly different angles on the uh, model so we can get inside those window sashes and not see red on those surfaces. I checked my uh, prototype photos, and uh, this model is, or this, this engine is red from this separator stripe there all the way down to the uh, side sills on the cab, um, except for that uh, black stripe, which that'll be represented by a decal that was provided by Circus City Decals. And if you uh, want to do this engine, go ahead and get with uh, him over there in Wisconsin, and he'll provide you what you need uh, to paint this engine, to decal this engine. So it looks like we're uh, we're about good here. Um, we'll take a final look at the we'll set this aside here again. Take another look at the engine shell or the uh, the hood, and it looks like we're doing pretty well there as well. This draft dries, like I said, quickly and is overall pretty forgiving as a lot of flat paints are, flat hobby paints. And it looks like we're done. Um, so we'll let this dry and we'll pull the masking tape off and we'll be back with you again. So we're back here at the... Uh, Workbench again. The uh, black paint has uh, had a few days to dry. Actually, it's way longer than 
needed. I always like the uh, paint to feel not tacky any longer. And this is the most, most exciting time, really, for me when uh, it's time to peel the, uh, the paint off the model and uh, see what we've done. Actually, I'm going to need a, uh, a knife to get down underneath the uh, tape down in the shell there. Just put on pretty tightly, put the knife down, and then resume pulling the tape up. Um, both exciting and kind of a trepidating experience when we see if uh, all that uh, time spent burnishing the tape down was well spent or if we have to uh, do something over again or make touch-ups. Um, usually just need to get a corner of that tape up to get it pulled out. And, but it seems like everything's being difficult. This particular one must mean it was uh, attached to the uh, to the shell well, <laughs> and I get just a little piece like that up at one time. I like to be able to pull everything all at once. Which looks like it's what's going to happen here on the. Uh, engineer side of the uh, long hood. That looks very nice. There's a little bit of red paint that pulled with the tape here, so we'll have to touch those up. That uh, may be covered by decals, probably that, that won't be there, but um, we'll see how that comes out with the uh, decals laid over. We'll probably get the uh, true scale paint back out. I'm doing the cab here now. It's a little piece of uh, red came with my masking tape. And a little bit of that masking tape is on my thumb here now. And now the... Uh, Interesting part, all these window sashes on the cab. How did that come out? Looks like very well. I'm pleased with that. We'll get this little piece here now. And then it looks like we're done pulling masking tape off. I'm overall pretty pleased with that. Um, again, there's some touch-up spots here that we'll need to do. But uh, overall, I'm, as I said, pleased.